Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. So glad you could join me today. My name is Vicki Lynn. If you're new here, thanks for dropping by. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button. You're gonna wanna know every time I upload a new video. Today I have another great recipe for you. It is going to be a vegan egg roll. Sort of an egg roll. I actually grabbed the wrong wrappers, guys. When I actually looked at them, I grabbed the wonton wrappers, but we're gonna make this work anyway. They're gonna be smaller egg rolls. Um, I've been dying to make egg rolls. I don't know about you, it's just like something that I've always wanted. And I'm going to show, how, show you how to make these super simple and quickly. You can either use your air fryer or you can use your oven, whichever one you have, it doesn't matter. But we're gonna make these healthy, delicious. So let's get started. We're gonna take a few shortcuts on this recipe, again, to make it quick and easy. Again, you could make your own wonton wrappers or egg roll wrappers, but we're not going to. These are pretty readily available. They are vegan. They say right on them that they're vegan. And I'm actually going to use, now all you would need to make the filling would be cabbage, carrot, any of the vegetables that you would normally have in your kitchen or you probably would have in your kitchen. I'm actually going to use this organic broccoli slaw that I got at Trader Joe's um, just because I think it's super simple and we're just going to cut this down a little bit. So I'm going to use my trusty food processor to do a lot of the work. This is already slaw. So we're just going to put that in there. I'm going to add in an onion. I'm going to chop mine down a little bit. Just so it chops down. And we are going to cook this up. Same with a few mushrooms. And you can put whatever filling you want in yours. It just depends on what you like. But when I saw that broccoli saw, I thought, oh, that would be a great filling for egg rolls. The other thing you're gonna need is a little bit of garlic, some ginger of some sort. Now, if you've been here around my channel before, you know I always store my ginger in the freezer. It saves it from going bad. You always have it readily available and then I just grate it into whatever I need or chop it up and then it's ready to go. The other thing I'm using is aquafaba. That's to seal my wontons just to make sure they get a good hard seal on them. I don't want my filling to come out um, but you could also use water but another great way of using your aquafaba as an egg replacer. And don't forget guys if you're enjoying this recipe give this big thumbs up really helps me with that algorithm thing going on. Okay, so we're just gonna blend this a little bit. Work everything down. be too fine. We just want it fine enough. We're going to cook this down in our frying pan. So let's go over to our kitchen. We have a little bit of water in our pan just for sauteing since we don't use oil. Just going to put in our mixture. Spread that out. And we just want to soften this. Now your oven should be preheated if you're using an oven to about 325. That should be the perfect temperature for you. Put in some garlic. Thank you. 
and then I'm just going to grate in my ginger. We're going to say about like a one inch knob of ginger. Ah, oh, smells so good already guys. Fresh brown pepper. A little bit of salt. Now we're going to turn our heat off. Give that a stir. And now you're going to let this cool because obviously we need this to cool before we can start wrapping our wontons. So our filling has cooled and we're ready to start wrapping. So we're going to take our wrapper and some filling. We don't want to overfill these since they're so small. So you could do them in triangles if that's what you wanted to do. And so for, before we do that, I'm just going to take a little bit of my aquafaba just go along the edges I think I'm just going to do triangles now you could always twist them and make them into little caps if you want but I think just triangles, eh, we'll play around. Let's play around. That's what our food is all about, playing with our food. So. Just make sure that it's sealed really well. You want to get whatever air you want out. So super simple. I'm just going to finish these up. Now you could also just do big blocks. And just put one here, if that's what you want it to do, and have big squares. If you wanted to make them bigger and thicker, you could do that too. Make them down. Almost like ravioli. Just make sure you're sealing it. And the great thing is that we're baking it, so we're not really too worried about everything coming out. But that'll make a nice big one. Okay, guys. So these literally cooked for three minutes on one side, and then I turned them over and cooked them for a minute on the other side and that was at 360 in my air fryer you can also brush them lightly with the aquafaba if you want them even browner look how gorgeous they are they are delicious I already stole one and burnt my mouth of course give these guys a try I just have some sweet chili um, sauce to dip with them, but you can make your own dipping sauce if you want. Hope you've enjoyed this one. See you soon, guys.